Hey Capricorns, welcome to your February reading guys. Oh, let's see what's going on. We do have uh, Mercury going retrograde in February. That's February the 17th till March the 10th. Um, I know somebody asked me on the video, so I thought I'd tell you guys at the beginning. Okay, so if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, and we'll see what we have going on. The cards and my email will be in the description box, okay? So let's get on. We're starting. Ooh, look at this, Capricorn. You could be feeling a false unto yourself here because Queen of False is showing up, right? Upright. And we've just been through Capricorn season. You guys should be feeling energized, you know, um, with the sun, the moon, and the eclipses all going on during Capricorn season. You may be feeling extra powerful, like you may be feeling yourself, and that's great. You may be taking a whole new life path here um, in February. It may be like a complete switch, and that's why um, we go from the sun to the moon or, um, you know, light to dark there. So it's wonderful. I mean... <laughs> feeling yourself like I can walk on water I can control the planets here so I, I get it Capricorn you know you're feeling good if you're not um it may be different stages that we're at and maybe cross watch your um moon or rising sign or maybe even partner sign if you're looking for certain answers okay there so yeah very practical here and um I think like as we've gone through Capricorn season, it's helped to ground you with this card um, upright here, you know, um, but, you know, really, really in control. I feel like really balanced and in control here. So it's good. It's, you know, it's helped keep, keep you grounded during this energizing time for you. Don't get carried away. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Ooh, the oracle. Look at you. Everybody may be coming to you looking for answers at this time. Or you could even be going to an oracle at this time. Or you may find answers um, that you seek um, from an oracle. Ta -da. <laughs> um, but I feel like any answers you're looking for at this time, you'll be able to get, okay? So it's a really good time. Maybe even try meditating, um, however you connect with um, source. You may be able to find answers this way yourself. So go ahead and try it because it's a great time for you. Um, a lot of planets backing you up at the moment, but however, you know, um, be aware of Mars trying to stir things up because the way it's angled with Neptune right now um, may make you feel like, you know, um, you're unstoppable. Um, I think Capricorn season, the earthly energy keeps you grounded. But as we move into the airy energy, you may feel like, you know, oh yeah, I'm feeling this energy, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling unstoppable, I'm feeling power. And it may sort of set you up for a disappointment, okay? So um, just be realistic, okay? That's, that's fine to feel that powerful. Just remember to be realistic as well. It's always good to be positive and believe in positive things as well as, you know, being realistic at the same time because I just feel like Mars is sort of like... Just playing a little bit of a trick on your sign. And like I was talking about Mercury retrograde, it's in Pisces season. So that's like makes things dreamy and confusing for us. It's like, you know, um, the dark side of the moon, Lilith. It can make things appear to be really fantastic. And then you end up sort of disappointed. So I just want to make you aware of that. Okay. Okay. Um, the Ark of the Covenant, yeah, this is the most powerful thing, right? Um, but it was reversed. So again, this is just like something to be aware of. If you keep yourself grounded and things like that, because you know, like when people like touched um, the covenant and stuff or tried to look at it, it kills them sort of thing. So it's something like 
very powerful could hurt you so remember to keep this energy grounded here you could be seeking this higher knowledge um this reminds me of a question when somebody said to me how do i open my third eye and i said don't right because you may not be ready for the knowledge that's in there you know this is why there's certain steps and allowing it to open naturally um you're ready okay but when you try to force your third eye open, it can actually be more damaging to you than anything else. OK, so if anybody's doing anything like that, just be careful of that. Um, you may feel like, you know, only good things can happen. Um, I've heard of people like trying to take um, drugs and, you know, being a, like awoken like that or going to different dimensions like that or whatever. And, you know, the knowledge being then too much for them right they thought oh, only good things can happen and then you know they got too big for their boots sort of thing um so yeah that was a bit of a strange one <laughs> okay let's see okay archangel raphael here look we see um, the heart chakra activated here and him reaching out his hand offer, uh, and his hand as an offer. So I feel like you could be getting close to someone or finding it easy um, to sort of read other people's heart energy towards you here. But I feel like somebody's getting close to breaking down any barriers between you, um, them sort of melting away as I'm looking at the heart chakra thing and being able to understand each other better. Um Again, however, just because you have this conversation and you're able to read, um, you know, their emotions and each other, don't think that during any sort of Mercury retrograde that, you know, just because they may come back, make an offer that it's going to last. That may be what's going on here. Maybe that, you know, somebody comes back to make you an offer and... Um, and it is the card eight here. So we do see this looping back, this infinity sign, um, somebody returning, making you an offer. And maybe it seems like everything's fantastic. That might just be the Piscean energy um, tricking you. This person does have love for you, but um, they may leave again if they come back in the retrograde. So that may be why something seems perfect, dreamy and ideal, but then ends up being um, not exactly what you thought. So seek answers, you know, like question this person, like what are your intentions or you want to get back with me? That's cool. Let's do it. Um, let's start dating, you know, let's start seeing each other. Um, I wouldn't give any answers until after the 10th of March because they may just let you down again. If it's going to be like a test for you, um, and this person comes back and says, this is my offer. And they're not really offering much. You know, you need a question. What, what are you actually offering me? Um, because then when Mercury goes um, direct, you will, they will leave. Because then maybe you didn't learn. You just accepted below what you was worth. Okay, so then we see you ending up disappointed right you may feel like ever so powerful that this person that nobody could hurt you and then this person made you an offer and then leaves and then hurts you this is okay the four uh, the four of keys here clearing the way Okay, so what you can do at this time um, is make a way for a future path, make a way for a future with this person. You can start like laying the road here and um, to this end destination, the house. Um, you can start paving the way. You can start by seeing each other, just talking, not rushing into things, not immediately getting back together, not immediately jumping into bed together and things like that. But in regards to like business like matters, I feel like you can make good progress in the beginning here of February. Okay, so that's good. You know, you can make good progress here and clear the way you're making a new path for um, your future here with any sort of business like matters. Okay, so that's good. The four of roses, the views of the ego. Yeah, I definitely am um, a little bit worried um, for people with this reading um, in the sense that 
Um, it's your own ego that can make you get hurt in this situation. You may feel like because you're feeling so good and unstoppable and powerful that you may confuse it and the power may hurt you sort of thing because um, we all know what's impossible for man is possible for God. So if God needs you to learn to, you know, drop your ego, that's what will happen here. Somebody will come in, um, you'll fail the test because of your ego and then, you know, you end up hurt. Okay, because you felt like, look at me, I'm unstoppable. So every time we want to take a look at any situation, we want to start with accountability, not pointing fingers outwards. Okay, take a look at the man in the mirror. So that would, you know, um, I would go with that song for this reading. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. First, you know, um, we can't ever expect we can change anybody else it's hard to change ourselves so how can we expect to change another it always has to start with the man in the mirror so don't let your ego get in the way you could be getting a lot of romantic offers that are making you feel like ooh, really positive about yourself which is great um but don't you know it's easy to slip into ego even when we've done a lesson of ego you know it's it, it, this energy for you, it may feel like quite self-righteous sort of thing. Um, but it will only serve you so much if you can separate the two, I really hope. <laughs> yeah, because look at that, um, the Seven of Scrolls here. So we see that, you know, positivity can build this really positive future for you here. Because I feel like he's building, he's rebuilding the tower. Um, but... You know, um, you can't feel like, okay, well, I know everything. So I'm not, I'm going to skip reading these, this information because I already know everything. And then you build, you know, this end of the tower weak and it ends up falling over. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like what you'll do is um, alienate somebody more. So you may just be confident and it could be coming off to people as quite... Um, arrogant sort of thing so it may alienate this person so they may come back and see you okay you have changed um, and you feel like okay I have changed but I've changed from the better right I've improved myself I'm more self-confident I'm more full of self-love and full of self-worth and somebody could be re uh, view you as actually it's quite egotistical so people may be viewing you like that okay Capricorn you maybe just be feeling the power and energy um, and have a positive perspective, but people may be viewing you as arrogant. So I would just check that a little bit, you know? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, um, any, with you being self-confident. I feel like, you know, there's just you could be you could face future challenges because of it so keeping it in check and keeping yourself grounded with that queen of forces is always the best two of roses a winged messenger what a beautiful card i love it um so i feel like um definitely you're going to be getting some sort of messages you may just be meeting new friends um you could be meeting old friends for tea or a coffee or something like that um, for a drink here, I feel like two people will be meeting um, and it's designed that they will meet. But I feel like it's a test. Okay, so I encourage you to be more um, open to like laughing and seeing the funny side of things. Because maybe you went through something and it made you a stronger, better person. So you could be in the Queen of Swords energy. So you could be like... Yeah, I'm fantastic now. I learnt my lesson. I know that you're this and you're that. And it comes across um, maybe even quite bitchy and rather than um, positive. We've got to really preferably be seeing things from a healed perspective where um, we're positive, where we offer um, unconditional love. And by that, I mean, we don't want to put conditions on it. I'm going to love you if you um do this for me or do that or only if you're with me and things like that okay so uh, i feel like at this time you know um it's i encourage you to if you meet up with somebody to see things from 
a humorous point of view and a positive perspective and maybe let them talk and you may find out what's going on with them, right? Because maybe things wasn't going great for them. You don't want to say, ha ha, I'm glad things wasn't going great for you because you hurt me. That's not a heal perspective and it's not positive. I get why you might do it, but do you see how it's ego? Um, so yeah, I feel like there is going to be a message from somebody special um, and you're not supposed to let your ego get in the way because maybe you're getting lots of offers. Okay, caught in the ruins, yeah. I mean, like, if you're saying to people, haha, shame on you, you kind of are caught in the ruins and not seeing um, the way out of this situation because you may feel like, well, I'm stuck and I'm tied and, um, you know, I it's look at this tower. When I was talking about building a tower and building it wrong, it's like you more built a cage or you're building yourself up and you don't know where to go next, right? But... There's a way out of these ruins. The gate is old and creaky. They could probably work together and break the gate down or they could work together and help each other over the wall. So I guess working together with this person is maybe what you truly want and truly need. Um, but if ego and arrogance gets in the way, it can stop people talking, right? And the communication is what's needed in order to work things out or even help yourself out of this situation <clears throat> so maybe like you're like oh we're stuck here or somebody might get stuck in a lift here as well um don't panic just look at the funny side of it and sit down and talk have a conversation and yeah you'll get through it easy so five of scrolls diversity there you go. Um, and there is this beauty in diversity, right? I just, somebody was, I'd posted something on my community page and somebody had put, I don't agree and blah, 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 blah. And I said, that's the beauty of the world. We all don't have to agree. Diversity is beautiful. We can still get along. So even if you're not getting along or agreeing what this person says, the diversity in the world and the differences between every human is what is beautiful in the world, right? Um, I've seen this quote, I forget who it's by, I'm sorry, um, but they say, um, nobody is inferior and, you know, nobody is above anybody else either, but nobody is equal. We are all unique. You are you and I am me. Um, and I think that's very beautiful. So I think like the perspective you should be looking at is the diversity in the world. Um, everybody has something to teach us. Every religion, let's say, every culture, every person that's ever lived has something to offer. You have something to offer and they have something to you. And I think the only way we can learn is when we listen. Because, you know, if we're talking and talking and being arrogant, we only are going to know what we already know because we're speaking it, we know it. So if we're listening to different perspectives and different points of view, we get to learn a lot here. And I think that's how you get over this challenge because fives are about challenges as well. Um, and again, this could have something to do with your fifth and seventh house, which would indicate relationships. So... Um, yeah, definitely here, even if it's with your family, with the fourth house there and oneself here, and this could be work with eighth house. Okay. We're getting, we're going too far and too deep and on too long. I'll definitely do more readings throughout the month here, but I feel like, um, how you get over this challenge, um, whether it be in a relationship with somebody, romantic friendship, family, whatever, um, is by listening. We don't have to agree. We can agree to disagree. And we can agree on that everybody has something to offer that's unique and beautiful to the world. If you're feeling stuck 
um, for money, let's say, or career, if you're having sort of difficulties with that, you do have something unique to offer. This caught in the ruins, you know, um, maybe there's somebody that can help you out, somebody coming towards you that can help you out. So, perspective, positive, right, guys? Not arrogant, not too big for your boots, and not that I don't need anybody to help me. Somebody can help you here out of a sticky situation. Good luck, guys.